Predictive algorithms are fed with data. Therefore, robust, accurate, and updated data are the key for achieving the best results. Best marketing data drives best marketing decisions. The vast growth of data from the web and social media has created a huge opportunity for boosting predictive marketing. In this section, we'll review these data sources. The first data source is company database. Companies have always collected data on their CRM. However, the main goal of CRM is to collect data about customers, not prospects. To address the needs of marketeer, a new system has been created, the Marketing Automation Platform. Marketing Automation collects data about leads, which is used to nurture them and slide them down the funnel. It is a process machine. There are two types of data that Marketing Automation Platform collect and use. Firmographic data like company, company size, revenue, and contact name and job titles, and behavioral data, which includes data about emails and marketing assets that the prospects engaged with, website visit, marketing events, and more. This data can then be used for basic marketing actions. However, data captured in organizations today has a few challenges. Company data gives only a fractional view of leads and it mostly contains contact information such as name, job title, and address. On average, the company database contains 10 data points on each prospect, as compared to more than 1,700 that you can find on leading predictive marketing platforms. Another challenge with company data is that it's stale and rarely updated. Typically, after a lead or contact is created in the CRM, sales rep rarely update this data. However, people change jobs or get promoted, companies grow or launch new products, and their needs change. Data keep changing. Nevertheless, this will not be reflected in your CRM or marketing automation data. The third challenge is that CRM data is not clean. When multiple people enter data over a long period of time, it becomes less and less clean. The fourth challenge is that data structure is not standard. The same variable can be entered in many different ways. For example, states can be entered as two letters or as a full name. Job titles that are the same can have different names. Non-standard data makes it hard to segment and draw meaningful conclusions. Last, as with any database, some of the variables are missing from the company database. Inbound leads may have left some of the fields in the form empty, and leads from different sources may have different fields associated with them. To drive predictive marketing, marketing data needs to be rich, updated, and accurate. The second data source is social data. Social is one of the fastest growing online domain. While engaging in social, people leave large online footprint that can provide high visibility to their profiles, interests, and activities. This can all be mined to provide a very rich and robust data set. Here are the types of data that can be mined from social networks and social media. Social profiles. Social profiles contain a wealth of information, including resumes, interests, training, education, job responsibilities, and more. This can be one of the best and most robust sources of information about individuals that is available online. Like sales rep review LinkedIn profile of individual that he is planning to talk with, the same can be done automatically and at scale. In addition, social profiles can continuously be updated by individuals to reflect promotions, job changes, and new skills. Social profiles can enrich any database with relevant data. Social links. This is what you can learn from looking at people's friends and colleagues. This is one of the hottest fields in math and computer science, network analysis. When you analyze the connections between individuals, you can form clusters that teach you about the personal education, training, interest, goals, and needs. A great way to visualize this was the LinkedIn tool called InMaps. LinkedIn's InMaps analyzed the connections of an individual to its network. The algorithm didn't know anything about the person, except for how people are connected. When you analyze the results, though, you do see clusters that make sense. Friends from university can form one cluster. Colleagues from former job can create another one. This is how algorithms that analyze big data can discover things 
that we as human need more time and more knowledge in order to know. Social activity. Social activity includes all of these likes, shares, tweets, retweets that we do on the social networks. This can actually contain valuable information regarding interest as well as wants and needs. Sharing lots of images of new cars, you may be in the market for a new car. Just liked or tweet an article about marketing automation, you are more likely to be a marketing automation power user. This wealth of information is invaluable to marketeers when analyzed at scale. In sum, social networks contain wealth of information by analyzing social profiles, social links, and social activity. Company websites is the third data source. Websites may sound obvious, but the real challenge there is making sense out of all the unstructured data that includes text, images, and web technologies. We divided the data that can be obtained from websites into two main sections. First, we have the public website information. This includes products, company descriptions, keywords density, management, and other information like press releases and finance information. The section that is less obvious is the data that exists under the hood. This data includes web technologies, inbound links, traffic and rankings such as Alexa, online ad, and others. Websites indeed contain wealth of information that much of it is hidden from plain sight. News outlets and blogs are the third data source for predictive marketing. Mining and analyzing news and articles at scale can provide insights that are hidden from plain sight. Imagine a dedicated person reading industry news for every one of your leads. This is the power of data-driven predictive marketing. Websites and blogs contain wealth of information. The challenge is to crawl millions of blogs and news sources to get the information, and then use sophisticated text analysis in order to understand it and find the valuable data points. The fifth data source is private and public databases. Databases contain a wealth of information that can become helpful data points for predictive models. This data includes financial statements, government filings, company financials, patents. Putting these databases together with our data can teach us a lot about companies' growth and reveal data that is not available anywhere else. Very important data that every marketer would like to know is buyer fit for an offer and purchase intent. A great example of buyer intent is search. If we search online for a vacation in Hawaii, this reveals not only that we may shopping for vacation, but also our preferred destination. While search data is private and not available for marketing use, other types of data can indicate buyer intent. For example, social networks. If you are asking people for reviews or recommendations, you are very likely to be looking for that product or service. 